It's travel day! Hi everyone and welcome back to a new vlog series. For those of you who have watched the vlogs before, thank you for watching. We are going back to Florida today. Ah, we're on our way to Florida. Well, we're on our way to get what we care for. <laughs> So today is April the 19th and um, our flight is at 10.30 I want to say and um, we've got all the luggage in the car, we have paid for the valet parking which top tip actually we got, we registered with um, My Gatwick and got a discount on that, I can't remember how much it was, was it like 10 or 15% Alex? 15% um, we think and um, it was actually quite a good deal that we managed to get um, for that valet parking so we're on our way to Gatwick short stay and then we're gonna check in and we're off to sunny Florida to go and see Mickey Mouse Mickey Mouse Mickey Mouse Lucas got his Mickey Mouse tracksuit on I don't know how much you can see there but I'll show you more when we get to the airport <laughs> family um, check-in so um, it was actually it was actually really easy to be fair they searched down all the pram and everything and yeah it was it was it was great really seamless really quick so yeah Alex has got Luca all the boys are in matching crocs cracks and sacks and cracks and sacks lilac Karen's just having a look around the world duty free <laughs> what can we get and um, here we go, off to go and take our seats. Got chocolate croissant from Prep. Sat with Dada. You excited for holiday? <laughs> so we're just sat at the gate now. Gate 27. My gate is just literally over there. Luke is just playing around with the chairs. How do you feel about the flight, Alex? Excited. Excited, looking forward to it. Tommy, how are you feeling about the flight? Cannot wait. Karen? Can't wait. Lucas Hold your hand. Just want to get on. Lucas climbing over the Tommy. chairs. Go on, man. Blimey. He's had a whole chocolate croissant from Pret, and he's had um, a uh, baby hot chocolate, baby chino, and he's had some smoothie melts, <laughs> and um, yeah, I had a bacon roll from Pret, which was really nice actually. And just like that, we're on the plane now. Luke is playing his iPad game. This is called Beanie Bow or something like that. It's toddler games for two, three, and four year olds. Had it for a while. He's just sipping on um, sipping on OJ. Who does he even think he is? Look, check this kid's full on glass, full on glass premium style. So this is, premium, we're, we're in premium economy. Um, fair amount of legroom, I'll show you guys. One more. So it's a nice amount of legroom. You've got a little thing that you can put your feet on, TV screen, 
packed out all my stuff there. Oh no. Silly Daddy. Tommy's comfy. It's got a free seat. <laughs> Love that. Hopefully no one will sit there. Um, but they're still boarding. Um, Karen's happy. Been sipping on your sipping on your OJ. So yeah, and you get a little get your headphones and that plug in. So hopefully the flight's gonna be decent. Bought my Simba pillow. See. Here we go. on the in-flight entertainment so it tells you how long we've got and the new releases I'll show you now we've got lots of um, new releases on here Star Trek, Geordie Shaw, audio, which I'm gathering is like radio. Yeah, different different radio stations, games. I think in this you can actually play games with other people on the plane as well, which is quite cool. But yeah, um, I'm always about a bit of solitaire. I'm always about that solitaire life, me. So I'll be playing that in a bit. And then you've got the kids section, the Sky Flyers. Where they got all the kids' films, Bray, Doctor Zeus, Frozen Two. They've got loads of them on here. It's quite cool. Lots and lots going on. Love it. Love it. Let my hair down. I've gone for a book of crambers. Tommy's flat out and 
Luca is having a toe rub. What a life, huh? What a life. iPad, mate. I said to Alex, surely we can't make him sit on the iPad for seven hours. Um, we've got seven hours, 20 minutes until we arrive at our destination. Um, he's got Frozen on the telly. I'm still watching Mandalorian. He's having a foot rub. He's got his game. He's had half a bagel with cream cheese. And he seems pretty content. Albeit tired, but pretty content right now. So, we roll with it. And I've had a book of cranberry, so I'm chuffed. So, dinner has arrived. Well, lunch actually, because it is 12.35. So I'm going for the braised beef with the jasmine rice, which actually smells really delicious. Giving us a bread roll, some cheese, crackers, um, some sort of cake and a quinoa salad. Luke has got a bread roll. But because I didn't pre-order a, a kid's meal, Luke has had to have an adult meal. So this is gnocchi. We've gone for the Luke car. So that's a gnocchi that Luke is probably maybe either maybe gonna have or not gonna have it really nice. But it looks quite nice actually, it smells really good. So yeah, happy with that. sure it's right there for the bags we'll try and um make sure we don't get them bags don't forget it's 20 minutes max 11.04 so 11.24 we've got to take it off no you'll get burnt we don't want burnt eyes they've bought out barbecue chicken wraps 
and have a bite and I'll tell you what I think of it. I didn't have a choice, it was just barbecue chicken. You get ham and cheese and tomato. just landed and nanoseconds before we touch down Luca has gone to sleep flat out mate oh, right. Alex is fuming <laughs> so we've got to try and get him in the buggy 
Oh my gosh, bless him, he's so tired. Honestly, he's so tired. It's amazing, I loved it. You loved it? Oh, Alex? Yeah. Super. Super. Karen, how did you find the flight? Oh, it was lovely, it was fine. It was really nice, wasn't it? We really enjoyed it. I, I mean, a flight with a toddler, I thought it went really well, personally, but um, the boys didn't eat. Karen and I ate. Um, but yeah, it was, um, it, it was a decent flight. So... Heading into Bag Claim, I think now. It says Bag Claim is a seven minute walk, and then Customs and Border Protection. Seven minutes on that sign up there. Look at this, it's lovely. Beautiful. Wow. So, this is where we collect our baggage, baggage reclaim, and it looks like that over there is Customs. At the minute, it looks like there's nobody there, which is always quite nice. Um, so we've bought the travel cot, so it's in the oversized section. Don't know where that'll be. And bag claim is moving, so hoping it's not going to be very long. Everything crossed. That looks. Me and Karen have made it to the shuttle bus. The boys have got on a bus. We don't know where they are. We're hoping they've got to Terminal B, and the shuttle bus is coming now. Let's go, let's go. The terminal link is now departing. Please hold on to handrails. They're bloody hot. When you just arrived or departed, we're glad to be here. Orlando's a place for imagination. Gonna meet them. Oh, and um, gonna go and pick up our car. Feels like we're back home when we hit Terminal B. So weird. Just feels like um, it definitely does just feel like home from home. Very, very strange and surreal. Landed in um, Terminal C this year. Did you find it strange? Landed in a different terminal. It's weird. Very surreal. Very strange. It's top at the bins. Yeah, it's the famous carpet, Disney shirt, everything we're so used to, aren't we? And Terminal C is just so futuristic and different. I mean, stunning. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? It's just fresh. Everything's fresh, isn't it? So nice. But yeah, Terminal B, it has our hearts. You'll always have our hearts, Terminal B. <laughs> we're just picking up the car seat. They have like a whole shed load of them that you can just get your boosters, get your car seat. Obviously, you've got to pre-order it. Um, 
and now we're heading to the car. Looper is awake still. Off we go. Off we go to our car. Did we get an upgrade or not? We didn't get an upgrade. Here's our vehicle. Oh, hot damn. Look at this bad boy. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. That's so nice. We just turn the baby so that he's got buggies to protect him. I'm just going to film the car. Look at this. Yeah, you might sit back home. Look at this bad boy. This is nice, boy. Wow. Wow, darling. That is a thing of beauty. Got an overstimulated baby. We're in the car though. He is not happy. But you know what it's all about? Showing the truth. What's going on? This is the current stitch. You can only do what you can do, hands. We have arrived in our villa and this is the same villa that we stayed in last year that we just absolutely loved and highly rate. So we've come back and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like before we absolutely trash it. <laughs> okay, so you just walk through the door here. Uh -oh. Stairs now. are there straight away. You've got a little lounge with a dining table, a little console area, a toddler. Um, Tommy's currently fixing the baby gate because they give you a couple of baby gates. Come on, Brutus. Kitchen. Little seating area here. Hey. Guys are all in hey. the lounge. What's wrong? Carry on filming. Guys are all in the lounge, just chilling. This is the main lounge that we use. And then out here you've got the pool area. She's got some nice new chairs that she's added to the collection, actually. Um, we've got the pool lounges over the back there and the pool is absolutely beautiful, overlooks the lake, lovely dining table and then you've got your big TV coming down here into one of the master bedrooms. This is one of the master bedrooms, gorgeous bedroom. Comes with a walk-in to walk in wardrobe. Nice walk-in wardrobe there. See daddy darling bathroom nice bathroom lovely bathroom beautiful bathroom jacuzzi shower and toilet and then you do get your amenities amenities hair dryer um, and she's left us some soaps and some shampoo conditioner bless um yeah it's 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 lovely this one's got pool view obviously come on honey good boy shut the door Shut the door. And then you've got downstairs toilet. This is a slide door. It just slides shut. And then into the laundry room. This is the laundry room. And then in here is where she puts the baby gates. This one is broken. But there's this one and then there's a couple of other little smaller gates. And then out here into the garage where you've got your games room, with your pool cues, pool table, table tennis, and your baby seats, um, if need be. So lovely in a little bar room where you can sit at. There's a wheelchair here as well. Um, oh, I don't know, is that a travel cot? Oh no, that might be a, no, that is a travel cot. Little baby thing. You should have a buggy here last year, but there doesn't seem to be one this year. Cool bag. Yes, then moving on. Also, you get a little laundry basket as well, ironing board. These are my favorite. Oh gosh, I can't wait to do a laundry room. Oh, it smells so good in here as well. Oh, so nice. And an iron, you get an iron. And mops, hoovers, mop buckets. Yeah, everything that you need. Let's go upstairs. 
just heading upstairs now. Here we go. This is our balcony section. And then heading into one of the bedrooms. So we don't actually tend to use this room. This is one of the bedrooms, TV on the wall. Very, very nice. Linen cupboards here, all fresh towels. Lovely. And then one of the bathrooms, looking very nice. And you've got a shower in the bath. And then we move back round to another one of the bedrooms. This is a double bedroom, which again is another one that we don't use. TV on the wall. And then you've got a little upstairs seating area, which they've changed round. Used to be a sofa here. They moved it round. Anyway, TV here. Little puffy, couple of chairs. And then panning around this way. Tommy's room. He's in there settling. This is Tommy's bedroom. This little bedroom. And then the bathroom to go with Tommy's room, which is the same as the other bathroom. Shower. Yeah, he's gone in the pool area. Another linen cupboard here with lots and lots of towels and flannels. And then bedroom here, which is bedroom I'm gonna try and set Luca up in. Okay, nice little bedroom here, TV on the wall. A bit chilly actually, I'll leave the door open for a minute. Boiler cupboard, not very interesting. And then back bedroom where Alex and I are gonna be. And she's put a row of court in there. Oh my goodness. Okay, fair enough. Last year we had a travel, but there's a real one. Fair enough, it looks brand new guys as well. We did ask her, she's a good little real cot, and she has quality. So this is our bedroom and our bathroom, which same as the others, just shower here, going into the bath, and then also a walking wardrobe here and a spare mattress or two, a couple of spare mattresses and a safe down there and then extra linens pillow, etc, etc, and a fan. So, yeah. That's the villa tour. I can't believe it. She's actually put a, a real cot in here. I'm gonna ask Tommy if he can move it out and try and get it in the other room. I don't think my sheet will even fit that mattress. I haven't really got a deep fitted sheet for that. Oh, I do, no, I did. I did bring one. Ooh. I'm excited about this, really excited about this. <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it, what us parents get excited about, but I'm excited because she put a real cot because Luca climbed out of the travel one last year, although he will definitely be able to climb out of this. It is a very, very low, at uh, high, sorry, but yeah, buzzing. Wants to be off, doesn't he? Honey! Oh. Whoa. Mm, wow. Ready? We're out by the pool. Um, We're two. swimming. I'm not sure what you can see because I'm filming on my phone. Oh. But we're swimming in the pool. Bee. Little Luca Bee. Bee. We've been doing lots of swimming with him Bee. and it's clearly paid off because the first thing he did was jumped in that jacuzzi in his nappy <laughs> to catch his giraffe. So, um, glad he's confident. <laughs> glad he's got some confidence. <laughs> Darling. Oh, where are you going? Swimming. Oh, look at mommy's nose. Ready to go in the pool now. Mama, come in the pool with us. Come 